It's always exciting to experience the culminating events for courses in the Interdisciplinary Collaborative Teaching Program. Beyond showcasing the imaginative work of our students and faculty, these final projects represent an entire semester of shared curiosity, exploration, and discovery. By integrating the arts with the humanities and sciences, we affirm the value of a truly comprehensive education and recognize the inseparable link between research and creativity. 14 teams that we have, uh, 14 student teams have been working on different ideas throughout the semester. And all the 14 ideas are pitched by the students. So out of the 14 ideas, we have uh, eight ideas from business students and six ideas from design students. So it proves that idea, good ideas can come from everywhere. My own learning through this process is how much work it takes to collaborate between business and design to bring that vision. And that vision transforms business aspect and transforms the design aspect, which is directly from the mind of the entrepreneur to the heart of the customers. So that was kind of the whole premise that at the beginning of semester, we all gather and everyone pitch their idea. So uh, whomever's idea get chosen, they have to team a form to create a company. So there is a CEO, the business person, and also the design as a team to create this uh, business idea and also the branding to go with that. So our hope, the goal is here that, you know, even though there is a business student and then the design student, they will have a better understanding of each other's discipline. Mm -hmm. And then, so when they're ready out the world, they actually have some experience working with them because they do understand uh, each other's process and just a little bit about what they uh, specialize. And I most enjoy just seeing how each side was able to come to an overall agreement and create something unique like our project and seeing how the analytical side of the brain and then the creative side of the brain could work in unison and make something come alive. From a design perspective felt like more of a real world application because kind of how it would be working with a client. It's really cool to be able to see how other people see it because we we have actually like seen, oh, I never saw this school work for the app and stuff like that. So be able to share and listen to other people's thoughts that we wouldn't, we wouldn't able to listen to like, or interpret it like that. It's really cool. It taught me that any like challenge or problem you face is a chance for opportunity and with opportunity comes success. And so when I face hardships, I should persevere more and uh, take the hardships as a learning lesson and hope for success from all challenges that I encounter. So I think that was definitely the, the biggest thing um, about working with students from another discipline was just realizing that it doesn't all fall on you. I enjoyed just the kind of process, the collaborative process, and like that's what I'm going to do when I graduate if I work for an agency or a company. So definitely just that real world experience definitely was um, really awesome and really fun. Like I really enjoyed that whole process. And the thing I enjoyed most about the collaborative process was seeing how the design students listen to the business goals and then they turn these goals into tangible, beautiful design solutions that communicate so much. And if I were just surrounded by business students, I wouldn't have been exposed to these really cool talents. I learned that my own discipline of sustainability and also business, these are both lenses or frameworks to view any situation through, but that design is an essential tool needed to create value in these different situations. So I got a lot out of this class, really enjoyed the process of working with different students who have different backgrounds and honestly, I'm excited for everyone's futures because I think the people in my group are really talented and have a lot to provide to the business community and the design communities. Uh, the most I've learned um, is in terms of speaking to others in my own department. I feel like when I express my ideas and how I'm gonna bring it to life, 
um, it's a lot easier for me to explain that to someone in, like I said, in my own department. But since I was dealing with someone in another department, um, it just made me more self-aware of the terms I use and how I explain myself and my design process. Um, so that will, it's helps to remind myself that, you know, not everybody knows what I'm talking about and um, it's just gonna be a lesson in, you know, future projects and ultimately my design career when working with clients. So graphic design plays a huge role in marketing. Huge, huge role, especially when it comes to IMC, which is my specialization. And also just in management as well, like obviously just from doing this project, I, you know, I really learned like, you know, just how much of, a, of an important role that they play. You know, it's not just about numbers, you know, which is obviously a lot of the things that business students worry about and focus on. It's, it, you know, there is also the creative process behind everything, which is really important and a vital part of business. And so I really enjoy doing this project and learning about these things. My, my view is you can't really separate design from business. Um, like you, whether you're an owner or whether you're an employee or a freelancer, um, all design is for the purpose of business. And, and so um, you've always got to be thinking about what the purpose of what you're doing is and how it makes sense in the world of, you know, commerce and marketing and, you know, all of that. And, and so I think if you adopt that uh, business mindset to your design, um, it will make everything you're doing much more successful. Um, and, and it's sort of, it's, it's difficult for, you know, us as designers to uh, put that out there and, um, and think that the, the craft of what we do and the visual part of what we do, the design part or the art part um, is less important. But I think if you think about them in balance and it's almost like if you think about art plus business equals design, Collaboration works best um, when there's a really um, a great respect and a great um, exchange back and forth. And so, the way you're um, the way you're setting this up, this program up, really makes a lot of sense because you're putting the both uh, both sides are sort of at equal, uh, you know, um, equal, you know, kind of seats at the table, and mm -hmm. not one, you know, that design part is not subservient to the business part. I think design can bring a lot to um, business ideas. So after taking this class, it kind of helped to expand my uh, mind and the way I thought about working with others. And I thought that it was like a really cool class to be a part of. It did also kind of change my approach while working within my own discipline. So before I kind of only worked within like a design mindset. So after taking this class, it kind of helped me to realize like, oh, I need to sort of look at it in a different person's perspective. So since we were working with business students, I kind of had to put myself in the business student shoes. I kind of looked at my work that way. Like, oh, how would they react to this? Like, how would this work with like our project? And like, where was, was it going? And what I really enjoyed about um, my collaborative process is that um, I got a lot of really good ideas from business partners and, and it's interesting because they don't have a graphic design background, but they can still, um, just with different ideas they have in mind, it might be something that I, I wouldn't catch at the moment and they can bring in a fresh perspective to something I'm not able to think about at that time if I'm stuck in a certain way of designing. And I felt that was a, that was really great because I had two business partners and they could always bring in a new set of ideas if I felt really lost at a certain point. Um, of course, there's like, I always had my own designs, but then they can always add some feedback or provide a new take or a new perspective into the design that could, at, in the end, help like finalize it or improve it even more. Just the fact that you have someone on the outside of design who can give you this feedback, who can give you this point of view that you would be what your design would be speaking to, just anyone in the public, and just seeing how that translates to them, how they understand it. So design really has to be understandable to your audience uh, on a new number of levels. And it's just a very universal language for sure. Patience, definitely a lot of patience when it comes to working with someone um, from another class or another academic 
you have to explain a lot and you have to be able to go over things, but you also have to have the same respect in order to listen and understand what you're receiving um, from them, you know, as well. But I mean, overall, it was fun. It definitely gave me a different aspect of things, um, things that I'm going to be able to better understand going into the professional world. From this um, project, I learned that by working with other students from a different academic department, it makes the whole process a lot easier. And so I, it is very recommended to, to have more brains in a team because we were able to um, brainstorm more ideas. The different perspective that each student has depending on their career and on their degree. Um, in our case, the art students were able to um, articulate the, uh, the business plan, the business project in a completely different manner that we were able to. And while we, you know, we, we were coming from different standpoints, we were able to find a middle ground and one where we could both uh, kind of get best, the best of, of both the art department and also the business department. 